Hey, welcome back, students. In this lesson, we want to go ahead and look at taking word equations and converting those into chemical formulas. And so there is a translation that we're doing here. And so let's go ahead and just dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin with this problem that I already have uh, written out for us. We've got one mole of sodium chloride reacting with one mole of sulfuric acid to produce one mole of hydrochloric acid and one mole of sodium hydrogen sulfate. So the trick for us is to convert all of this into some kind of chemical formula that we can use uh, or read using symbols, coefficients, and subscripts. So we'll go ahead and begin by looking at the very first item in the sentence. So we've got one mole. So this tells us right off the bat that what we've got here is one mole. So we're going to go and represent that as a number one. And since it is a coefficient, the coefficient goes in the front. Then we look at the second compound, which is sodium chloride. Sodium uh, is a metal, so the symbol for sodium is Na. And chloride is the uh, name of the anion of form of chlorine. And so the element name for chloride is actually chlorine, which is Cl. That is its symbol. When we say reacts with, so let me go ahead and erase some of this stuff. We don't need this anymore. Let's focus now on the reacts with. This here is actually a positive sign, and that's what that denotes. And moving on to one mole sulfuric acid. And so again, we're going to have a number one as the coefficient. That's the one mole part. And remember, sulfuric acid has a very specific formula. We know that sulfuric acid, since it's an acid, it is going to begin with a hydrogen. And so that means it's going to have a hydrogen. And it's going to have a 2 and SO4. If you need assistance on how to convert a name into an actual chemical uh, formula, then you need to go ahead and back and read, uh, catch up on the actual videos that I provided on that. Um, so go ahead and make sure you do that in class or at home. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. The next item that we've got to take care of here is we need to make sure that we go through and then look at the next section, which is this one here, to produce. That to produce means that we're going to have to have an arrow sign. So that's going to be the uh, right-facing arrow, and that means that it's going to create something on the other side. And what does it produce? It produces one mole, which is going to be represented. I'm going to write it a little bit lower here. It produces one mole of hydrochloric acid. Again, acids begin with an H, and since it's chloric, it's going to be chlorine as well. So this is HCl, and is the next portion. So we'll put a plus sign and one mole. The next section here is coefficient of one, sodium hydrogen sulfate. And so we begin with the sodium. Sodium has a symbol of Na. Hydrogen is an H, and sulfate is represented by the polyatomic ion of SO4. And so here is the overall reaction. Let me go ahead and rewrite this so it's nice and neat for us down below, and then you can see exactly how uh, we got this. And so here you go at the bottom. We've got the entire reaction written for us there as, as it should be. And I wrote it this way at the bottom just so that you can see its entirety all the way across from left to right. But this is the way we translate a word equation that's provided to you into a chemical formula. So I'm going to go ahead and provide you with one more example, and then we'll move on from there. All right, students, here we go. Here's the second problem that we've got for today. Let's go ahead and translate this one. We'll begin at the very top, uh, as we always do on the left-hand side, and we'll start with what we've got here. We've got two moles, and we're going to go ahead and represent this with a coefficient of a 2. Now, probably if it helps, let me do this problem slightly different. Let's go ahead and identify all the moles and convert those to numbers before we actually write anything. So we've got two moles here, so we know that that's a 2. We've got two moles here, so there's a coefficient of 2. And then we've got another one here that is a 1, and so we'll write this just below, and there's the 1. If we want to go ahead and then take this, this similar process and kind of just convert what we see, we've got another keyword here, which is hydrogen. The symbol for hydrogen is H, and decompresses or decomposes, this is an arrow sign, water. The symbol for water here, I'm going to write it, is H2O, and oxygen gas is represented as an O2. So what we see here in, in this uh, actual word equation is that we've got the different parts and it's up to us now to actually put them together and make sure that uh, we've got um, a very good functional formula at the very end. 
Now one thing that I did notice is that I forgot to identify here the peroxide and so that means that we've got an oxide which is an oxygen. All right. And so let's go ahead and put this into an actual formula at the very bottom here. Here we go. We'll begin with the two moles. So we'll write the coefficient of a two. And then we've got hydrogen peroxide. And remember from class, the way we do this is you've got one hydrogen bonded to an oxide. And so what we're going to need here is we're going to need a two a subscript for the H and a two subscript for the oxygen. Okay. And then this decomposes, so we need the arrow into two moles, so there's a coefficient of two of water, which is H2O, and, which is a positive sign, one mole of oxygen gas. And O2 is that symbol or representation of the oxygen gas. If you look at the atoms, if, just, if you're out of, out of curiosity, if you want to know if this is balanced, it is. You've got four hydrogens on the left, four on the right, four oxygens on the left, and we've got a total of four oxygens on the right. And so this here is the way that we would translate a word equation into a chemical formula.